Hi, everyone. This is Heather from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to take a look at pet eyes inside of Lightroom. But first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our site at flourish.com. Academy. A friend of mine recently sent me this image of this pup with cataracts. The first thing I'm going to do is zoom in with a command or control plus on the keyboard. And I'm going to try out the pet eye reduction, which was introduced a few versions ago inside of Lightroom. You can just select pet eye and then click and drag over the eye in order to correct these issues. And it does well, it missed it there. It does an okay job. I'm going to delete that node and try that again. And it keeps grabbing that catch light. It does an okay job, but it's actually very flat. And I don't think that it's working well on this particular image. So I think I'm just going to take a different approach. I'm going to press K on my keyboard in order to access the adjustment brush. I'm going to pull down on the exposure and the shadows. Now I could turn auto mask on for this one, but actually I think I want this adjustment to blend in a little bit better. I'm going to press O in order to show my mask overlay. And I'm going to begin by just brushing over the cataract so I can see exactly the selection that I've made. Pressing O again will remove that overlay. Okay, so now because this tool is interactive, I can come in and start to play around with these different settings in order to make this look natural. Now, in addition to the cataract, I also see a blue color cast, which could could be a result of the studio light. So I'm going to warm that up a little bit with the temperature and I might even desaturate it a little bit with this slider. But essentially what I'm doing is playing around with these different adjustments until I feel like it looks natural. We can take a look at the before and after of just this adjustment by clicking this switch at the bottom of the panel. So there's the before and there's the after. Now let's zoom out so we're not pixel peeping on this photo. And let's do that again before and after. And I think that looks great. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.